Well, hello YouTube. Uh, plain old Chuck here. I uh, want to put together a real quick little video here for a uh, kind of a shout out and a uh, got a little opening here, a little mail call. Uh, both of them kind of coincides. Uh, there's a gentleman with a, a channel he only has like 38 subscribers so far, and I, I don't really understand why. He just started, but uh, goes by the handle of Red Life on YouTube, and uh, it's it, it it's a channel I really enjoy. He's really down to earth kind of guy. He, uh, talks about a lot of subjects that uh, don't really get covered a whole lot on YouTube. Um, it's. Uh, really interesting. I mean, he really does some some different stuff. I think you'd be surprised if you would go over and, and check out. He only has a few videos, but uh, I look for some big things for his channel, uh, given the direction that he's going. I mean, he has a lot of, uh, like I say, interesting things that not a lot of other people cover. And maybe, you know, some different ideas that that provokes thought, you know, and I think that's important. So uh, he had a little contest on there, and uh, lo and behold, I won. So uh, I basically know what it is, but I thought I'd open it here for you guys to see. It'll give you some idea of some of what I'm talking about. As his prizes, just a little note, he gave a copy of Remarriage of Central Bushcraft book, which is absolutely loaded. I mean, everybody in the world's read this except me, and I had never really pulled the trigger and bought one, <laughs> but uh, but now I can. Uh, it had it covers about every aspect of bushcrafting you can think of, I guess. So, uh, I can't wait to get into that. And the other prize was something you don't see too many people concerned about. It was a packet of uh, vegetables. It's a vegetable seed kit. And uh, it has like 40 different seed packets, every kind of vegetable imaginable in a sealed Mylar, mylar bag. I'm not exactly, I just, I messaged the company last night, which is on the bottom here, and asked about shelf life and such. I really have, I haven't gotten an answer yet, but uh, uh, I think that's a, it's a great idea. I mean, uh, I think it's an often, it's a, an overlooked thing if we would have some sort of a, a disaster or something that, uh, you know, you can't store enough food. I mean, you can try, but sooner or later you're going to have to replenish what you stored. So, uh, a vegetable kit, if, if these are, and they're supposed to be uh, all naturally open and pollinated, chemical free, natural seeds. So, uh, down the road somewhere it could come in real handy and I think, I think that's a great idea. I, I'll leave the link to this company here and to uh, Red's website or his uh, YouTube channel in the description if I can figure out how I think I can. So uh, I think you, everybody needs to go over and check him out and uh, like I said uh, I think you'd be surprised. He has some, some, he covers a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't think about and maybe you'll agree, maybe you won't. But uh, I really enjoy sitting watching his videos because he, just because of that, he talks about things that a lot of people don't don't, don't cover. So that's that, anyhow. Uh, so I'll leave the description to his uh, channel in there, and I, I hope you guys will all go over and check him out. And if you like him, give him a sub. Like I say, he's only got about 30-some subs right now. He's just starting out, but... Uh, I think I think he's going to be a really good channel. I really do. Uh, but anyhow, 
Uh, one other thing, one little quick thing. If you noticed when I opened that up, I didn't use uh, oh, I didn't use any of my open L's or all my my good knives or anything. I I used this this little guy. Now, when I did my knife review video a few few videos back, it was basically to feature this knife. And, of course, I forgot it that day and didn't take it. So, uh, I just wanted to give a little background on it. This pen knife is a, it's a cheap little pen knife I got probably when I was, I will say, maybe eight or nine years old. And I was only allowed to use it under supervision, of course, when I got it. And, uh, being a kid, I, uh, snuck it out of the house one day and, was doing some whittling or whatever and uh, I cut my finger. Not really bad, but bad. And uh, I was visiting my grandmother at the time and my grandmother took the knife off of me. Told my parents, of course, and I didn't get the knife back. Well, fast forward 20 years later, 15, 20 years later, when my grandmother passed, we were cleaning out the house and uh, in one of her old button boxes, which everybody had in those days, I found my knife. So uh, I cleaned it up a little bit, which it wasn't damaged much because it's been in a button box for 20 years. But I still keep that knife and I don't use it very often, but uh, I do get it out every now and then and just play with it because it brings back a lot of memories. Uh, it's just a, I don't know what kind it was, it was, wasn't, I'm sure not an expensive knife, has the little can opener and a screwdriver on it, it's the only other two blades, but uh, that was going to be my feature knife with my knife story, but my feeble old mind forgot to take it with me that day, so that, that got admitted, but uh, now you have the rest of the story. So, but anyhow, basically that's all I wanted to, to do was to give uh, Red a shout out. And like I say, I'll, I'll put a link to his, his uh, channel in the description and a link to the, uh, this uh, seed packet place. They have a variety of different kinds of packets that you could buy, herb packets and vegetable packets and flower packets and whatever, but uh, I really do think that that's a, a great idea. Like I say, there's 40 different seeds, everything from watermelon to okra to Lord only knows what all is in there, but uh, I think it would be a good idea uh, to put back a couple packs or even, even as gifts or they make Hint, hint, they make really nice uh, giveaway gifts, too. <laughs> so, that's all for now. Uh, just, a, just a quick little video. So, y'all, God bless. Take care. We'll catch you later.